I'm sad to report that Vigo Mortensen, who used to be on my marriage list, has had sex with Lori McBride. And the reason I know this is because uh, I, he was, he's been talking to me brain to brain and, and trying to manipulate me and into having brain to brain sex with him. And he's been lying to me and saying that he's sorry that, that he got on Sarah Quill and all this sort of stuff. And that he's going to, that he and a bunch of men are going to be studying at Dallas Theological Seminary. And I just got on Skype with Brent. I, I have a transcript of that. You can read the link underneath this video. And um, he's just been lying to me and manipulating me. And what he says to me and what he says to my men are two different things. It's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And I absolutely don't trust him anymore. I started, I, I said, why are you manipulating me like this? Why do you say one thing to my men and another thing to me? Like he's formed a group saying um, that he's moved on, Gail's men that have moved on but yet they spend all day obsessing over me and criticizing me. And he tries to talk to me brain to brain all the time. And, to, and then he tells Brent that um, all sorts of crazy stuff. Like that, that all I want is rich and famous men who have a pretty face and that I would cheat on my husband um, easily as long as a guy knows how to sweet talk me and hit my buttons, you know, and he really doesn't understand me at all. I think he's very mentally ill, but I'm starting to think that maybe he's a little evil too um, because my lightning bolts are working on him and my lightning bolts only work on Lori McBride who has antichrist powers. So the fact that they're, and what, when I started shooting bolts at him, you can read the transcript underneath this video, I saw a picture in my mind of him having sex with Lori McBride at the same time that he was trying to make a move on me. So but at that point, I got thoroughly disgusted and I just blasted him with bolts. And Brent says he could hear him on the brain to brain servers, but I was conversing with Brent at the time. And Vigo was screaming and shouting and Lori was wailing because she was making love to him and, and I started shooting bolts at her vagina on his penis and Vigo, since you've had sex with Lori McBride, you have totally lost me. I'm not even, I don't trust you enough. Even if you said you've, even if you got back on Sarah, well, I wouldn't take you back now. You know, there's something that I that I think you, the men on my marriage list, and I hear we've only got about 10 now, which is fine with me, need to understand about me. Um, despite the fact that a lot of the men on my marriage list are Hollywood celebrities, that has nothing to do with why I found them attractive. Though the, I have had brain-to-brain -brain loving with the top 10, but I don't really consider that sex. Because there isn't the real... I haven't really actually had sex with them. It's not like my skin has touched their skin or it's all brain to brain. And I'm much more finicky about who I have actual relations with. That's why when I do marry Brent Spiner, I would like to just limit my honeymoon to him. But I realize that the top 10 have really sacrificed for me. So I'm willing to, if, if Brent is willing, if my husband doesn't have a problem with it, then I'm willing to have some time with them. And we did ask Brent, uh, Jesus about this. And Jesus said that, uh, like when David had a lot of wives, we said, how did you feel about this? Jesus? Jesus said, that's cool with me. Okay, here's what you need to understand about me, folks. Um, I'm not really a Hollywood kind of a girl. I became a Christian at age 14 and I have King David genes. I'm literally half King David. So if you want to understand me, you've got to understand that I'm a woman with the King David heart. King David was a man after God's own heart, and I'm like the woman after God's own heart. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you why I found Vigo Mortensen attractive for like the past couple months. Because when I, I was working on my novel, Silver Skies, 
and I was studying various I read The Lord of the Rings by Tolkien and I fell in love with this fantasy novel. I thought it was great. And let me tell you, I'm not impressed with most of what's coming out of Hollywood lately. I think it's shallow, too social justice warrior. I think the writing sucks. Uh, and you know, and you no movie or production can rise above the screenplay. If the screenplay sucks, the whole thing sucks. So I'm not really impressed with the quality of what's coming out of Hollywood. So it was my goal to write something to help correct the shallow, vapid writing that's currently in Hollywood right now because Lori McBride controls most of Hollywood right now. And she's very evil and shallow and she's very narcissistic. And so I fell, I fell for for um, Vigo, because I hear heard he could speak like six or seven languages, so he seemed highly intelligent. And I noticed when I checked him online that he didn't really have a huge online presence, so I admired him for his privacy. That seemed to indicate that he has some depth. He doesn't even have a Twitter, an official Twitter. He doesn't have a, uh, you know, and the only way he advertises himself publicly is his writing press. And so as a writer, I was, I was impressed that he believed in supporting writing. So I thought he was a deep, intellectual, masculine man, very much like Jesus Christ. And I was attracted to him because I thought he was like Aragorn in The Lord of the Rings, the character that he portrayed in Lord of the Rings. But I'm sad to report to you that he's apparently a very, very good actor but he's not at all like Aragorn in The Lord of the Rings, unless he's just so mentally ill. But like I said, I don't trust him right now. So, And the reason I found Aragorn, I was after I listened to an audio book of The Lord of the Rings by Tolkien, I noticed that Aragorn is a lot like Jesus Christ. Have you noticed that? Like in the crowning scene where they put the crown on his head and he, he, and he humbly says, I don't deserve this. I thought, oh, he's so much like Jesus. Let me tell you something. You may find this hard to believe, but the one I love the most in my life is not Brent Spiner. It's Jesus Christ. My number one sweetheart is Jesus Christ. And the more a man is like Jesus, the more I love him. And that's the truth. When I fell in love with Brent Spiner back in the 1990s, I kept thinking in my mind, you know, I was married to a, a Christian man, or he, he was actually, he's not a Christian. He was actually a secret gay and having sex with boys. Yes, boys. I didn't even know this. So it was no wonder the Lord approved of my divorce from him to go to Brent Spiner. I was married to a homosexual. And... To be honest with you, Jesus is not anti-gay, but he is against people who pretend to be one thing when they're another and then use that facade to manipulate people. The only thing my ex-husband cared about was that everybody thought he was a great Christian leader in the church. And But our marriage was so shallow, I never saw him read his Bible for personal devotions. I never saw power and prayer in him. He wasn't Christ-like at all. But during the dating time, he fooled me. He knew how to play the game, you know, the Christian game. Going to church all the time, going to all the meetings. And he knew the talk, you know, what to say. And Viggo Mortensen, Mortensen reminds me a lot of my ex-husband right now. He knows the talk. He knows what to say to impress me. And he's, he, he's got the same heart as my ex. My ex was emotionally abusive to me, but he's smarter than my ex because he's fooled me for a couple months now. But I'm not fooled anymore. Uh, since he's been to bed with Lori McBride, and he'll probably lie and say that I'm, I'm making up stories about him, but Vigo, my lightning bolts only work on Lori McBride, and they worked on you. Brent and I heard, we heard your screams when my bolts hit you, which means you've had sex with Lori McBride. That is the unforgivable sin as far as I'm concerned. That would be like the equivalent of taking the mark of the beast. I'm sorry, 
once you've done that, you've crossed the line. You will never, ever be on my marriage list. You hear that, man? I don't want this guy ever, ever on my marriage list. Never. Even if he gets right, you, you've blown it, Vigo. You should know better. You know what your biggest problem is? Your biggest problem is that you made an idol out of me. And the old... And that's the, that's the sin of idolatry. That's what Kanyo did back, Kanyo Reeves. He made an idol out of me, or and then it transferred to one of the Gale dummies. So that he actually took her out to dinner, which was very foolish. And, I mean, I've forgiven Kanyo for this, but it, and he feels terrible over it. And then she turned into, and then she got, he forgot about her and left her at the restaurant. Then the Jesuits captured her and, and, started playing around with her and she turned into the gale android and she almost destroyed the universe this is what happens when you commit the sin of idolatry you know what man i'm going to tell you this because i think this is important from now on i don't want any man on my marriage list unless he loves jesus more than he loves me did you hear that that's right that's going to help us prevent a lot of problems and you know how you can tell if they love Jesus more than me? They will obey the Gale commandments. They'll take their Seroquel and they'll do, they'll be in obedience to his commands. You love Jesus when you obey him. When you disobey him, you don't love him. It's that simple. And Vigo and that 10,000 men on my marriage list, you disobeyed Jesus. So you loved me more than Jesus. You committed the sin of idolatry, which leads to all sorts of horrors. That's like the same as taking the mark of the beast. I don't want any man on my marriage list that loves me more than Jesus. You better love Jesus more than me. You know, you can tell a lot about a person by their attitude towards Jesus. If you don't love Jesus, then I don't want to have anything to do with you. Jesus told my followers to do the Gale commandments to take your Seroquel. If you're not doing that, it's because you don't love him. If you don't love him, then you don't love me because I'm Jesus Christ's favorite. You may say, no, nah, that's it, guys. That's how we're going to keep the troublemakers off my list. I would rather have a pudgy guy, a pudgy guy who's overweight and loves Jesus than a, a guy with six-pack abs and a, and a beautiful face who serves Satan, like what Vigo's doing right now by going to bed with the Antichrist in, in female form, Lori McBride. V Vigo, you're totally off. Even if you got back on the meds, I, I don't trust you. Even if you get sane. Now, i got to say another thing. If you, uh, and also I, you might say, well, you love, 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 I love Jesus more than Brent. You know why? Brent asked, he called me on the phone in 1991 and said, can I come over? I said, no, I'm sorry, I can't, but it's not right. Oh, did I battle with Jesus in prayer about that? But I said, I can't do it because Jesus, as much as I love Brent, I love you more than I love Brent. And if I go to bed with him as a married woman, it will bring disgrace to your name. And I love you, Jesus. I can't do this to you. So I said, no. I had the choices we make shows who we love. Because I made the choice to obey Jesus. And Jesus said, you know what, Gail? He said, I'm really impressed that you obeyed me and, and turned Brent down because I know you wanted him. I got good news for you. He's part of my plan for your life. And I'm going to make a way where you can have him without sin. I want any man that's in my life that if he had to make a choice between Jesus and me, he would choose Jesus. And if he doesn't feel that way, he's off my list. By the way, if you join with Vigo's group, that's death penalty. So I'm just warning you, don't. he's very evil right now. He sided with Satan against Jesus. And anybody who's an enemy of Jesus is an enemy of me. Very dangerous group. Do not join Vigo's group. Do not join the rebel men. They're all serving Satan right now, and I'm very ashamed of them.